Hey guys, this is Patrick from LearnPhotoEditing.net. Uh, this is going to be a color grading tutorial for wedding photography, for wedding photographers. Um, now this tutorial will be divided in five or six parts. Uh, I'm going to use three different photos and I'm going to try to create five or six different looks. Um, and uh, so this is going to be part one. It's a pretty basic tutorial here. It's really, uh, it's not going to take you uh, much time, which is good because, you know, with photos you can, uh, you know, if you have a lot of photos, you want to work fast. If you're just going to want to uh, modify a few photos, then you can uh, take your uh, take your time a little more. So now this is going to be the end result, okay? And uh, that is, and this is this was the this is the original photo, the ungr ungraded photo. Uh, that we're going to start with and we're going to finish with this one uh, so let's uh, start right now now uh, when it comes to my color grading workflow in Photoshop I'm I always start with selective color and adjust a selective color adjustment layer so layer new adjustment layer selective color and uh, and and within selective color, I always start with neutrals, because if you start with red, you're only affecting one color. If you're uh, starting with neutrals, uh, you're affecting the entire image, and this is where I get to figure out what look I'm going to give uh, my image, and then I go from there. So. So here what you want to do is, is, is simply play with the sliders. There's no real science behind it. You just play with the sliders and you either you want to go with if you're trying to go with a certain look and I don't know if you want that type of tint on your image then you might go for that but otherwise what I usually do is I you just try to figure out at what what point does my image look its best. And uh, and and when you reach when you uh, reach that goal here, you just move to the next one and go from there. Uh, now, since I already know the values to put here, I'm I'm uh, going to quickly enter them so we don't waste too much time here. Uh, so. So those are the values I entered, uh, uh, I came up with for the neutrals, oh, actually it's a plus two here, whoops, so, tiny bit of change, uh, and then we'll go with the blacks, I usually uh, go with blacks right after neutrals, so, So we see the change here. Then I go to usually go then down the list, starting with reds. This time, I'm not going to uh, change anything uh, for the reds. I'm going to go with the yellows. Uh, minus 10 here. Then the greens. Uh, by the way, the yellows, you see it affects the skin. It affects... Uh, the trees uh, so minus 10 here the green of course will affect the trees the leaves here uh, sign 47 uh, minus 43 and I'll go the science which will affect uh, the sky Do 
add a bit of contrast um, then I'm going to go with the blues and that's it that's it for the you see the difference that's it for the uh, selective color uh, now um, what I want to do is I want to change um, I want to change uh, I want to make the dress a little brighter uh, maybe uh, work on the uh, uh, you know, I want it a bit more, uh, I want it pure white. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, since we, since I only want to affect the dress and you do, uh, you do that with uh, a mask, uh, we need to add another adjustment layer, selective color. And uh, since we only want to affect the dress, we're going to uh, create a mask where uh, we'll first fill the mask with the color black so then therefore the adjustment layer doesn't affect the image uh, the, the adjustment layer is only af going to affect the white parts of the mask so then we're going to use the, the brush with uh, white paint and we're going to uh, basically um, paint over the dress with the color white so I'm just going to increase the size of my brush let's say 40% opacity 100 and uh, I'm just going to what I can do to make it easier I'm just going to push that well that didn't work well I'm going to go with the white I'm going to push that tempor temporarily and so I know exactly what I'm doing here so I'm going to paint over the dress Okay, so that is done, and uh, at this point I'm just going to uh, put zero back here, and I'm going to enter those settings. Minus three, minus six, minus, oops. So you can see here that. the dress is, is a little bit more uh, bright uh, the white is uh, better uh, and, uh, and and then we're going to uh, we're going to add a color balance adjustment layer this is following a selective color I always go with color balance uh, So here we're going to do the same thing we did with selective color. So we're just going to play with the sliders. Of course, here midtones is going to affect the the, the midtones of our image. Uh, the shadows, it's going to affect the shadows. The you know the highlights, it's self-explanatory. We'll start with the midtones, and we're just going to again do the same thing as we did with the selective color color balance is not the same thing as selective color you can get uh, I guess I feel that uh, you know it, it co uh, color balance is a nice uh, complement to uh, selective color uh, so here I'm just going to enter the setting settings real quick 